In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your trusted certificate that you may have received from a trusted authority and that is being used on your domain controller to enable, in most cases, require secure, secure communication over LDAP. To do so, you must import that certificate into the Java Key Store, which is used by GS4. You can see from the screenshot here that this is the command that you will use. Java uses a tool called Key Tool. You have to initiate the import switch and the trust cal search switch. You also have to initiate an alias and give it a name. In this case is called GoPrint. It can be any name you like, but you can't have two aliases and there cannot be spaces between the alias names. So I'll, technically it all has to be one word. You have to specify the path to your cert file and then the password it's called change it. This is the default password that's used by the key store that Java uses. Now you need to know that GS4 does install JRE and also JDK. And it's found on the, under the GS4 JRE directory so there isn't any need to import or excuse me install the JDK and the JRE on your system on your server. It's already specified under the GS4 directory. Now the path to the Cal Certs key store, which is the default key store, is under the JRE lib security folder and the file is called Cal Certs. This is the default key store again used by J JDK uh, and JRE. So this is what we need to where we need to import our certificate. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna highlight and copy this into a command prop. You notice I'm already at the GS4 JRE bin directory because that is where the Java key tool is located. So it's just easier to navigate here and then initiate the command from there. And in this case, I'm going to hit paste and I'm going to hit enter. And if successful, it will turns your returns your certificate. And then it asks you at the very end if you want to trust it and hit Y for yes. And that is it. The certificate is added into your key store. Now if in many cases your certificate authority also initiates or creates an intermediate CAL and if that's the case you also in, have to import that one as well so today a lot of the CALs authorities use two certificates and you need to import both of those to, to successfully import your CAL and that is how you, you import a CAL into GS4